welcome City Art. I'm uh, glad to have you all here tonight and uh, to have a, a sort of poetry and music celebration. And I will tell you, I wish I had the schedule printed and I swear in my mind I had it printed and I went to the, went to the copy machine and the copy machine was the devil. And, and, and the devil sucked this whole morning out of me. It was really a horrible experience. Um, luckily I have an extra one in the glove compartment and I do it and now I'm good. And let me tell you what's uh, happening on City, City Art in October. Lots of good things. You know what's tonight? Uh, next week, on the 13th, we have Shannon Ballon coming down from Utah State University and Sherry Zollinger, uh, two really wonderful poets, are going to read. And then two weeks, uh, two really great poets I've never had here either, Britta Neal and Michael McGriff. So if you guys could come down for that, it'd be great. This is what it would look like if it were printed on paper. Um, but it's a really great schedule. The first uh, Wednesday of November are three fantastic fiction writers, Lance Olson, Liv Lynn Kilpatrick, and uh, Francois Black come on, which is awfully darn exciting. So uh, please come back for some of those readings uh, later in this month and the beginning of next month. Tonight, I've got finger symbols. I'm just going to make noise. Christian, if I hit the finger symbols in this microphone, what will it do? Nothing right now. Darn, darn. <laughs> <laughs> Got so excited for a moment. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, gosh. How much fun are we going to have tonight? How much fun are we going to have? How much fun are we going to have? That much! <laughs> let, me, let me give you a little bit of the bios and then we're going to get this thing on the road. Uh, Utah-based poet and singer Laura Kellen and, and composer and performer Christian Asplund uh, have evolved a unique style of performance involving an ethereal and lush mix of speech, singing, live sampling, looping, as we heard, layering drones and electronics. They will draw tonight from poems from uh, Campbell's recently published book, Albernium, uh, or Bro Albernum, I can say it, of Green and Living Tree, and her recently completed chapbook, Surgery, Physics, Physic at the Table. Uh, Laura's book, uh, uh, Albernum, of the Green and Living Tree was just released from uh, Blaze Box, actually last, last year, I believe. Uh, her work has appeared in Laura's forthcoming in Fence, Colorado Review, Peril Street, Great Coat, Fine Madness, Quarterly, and other journals. Uh, her pamphlet, Tongue Child, was published in the University of South Carolina's uh, Pelican TDM series. Uh, she was a finalist for the Motherwell, Hudson, and St. Lawrence Book Awards, and a recipient of the AWP Intro Award, among other uh, honors. Uh, Christian Asplund uh, is a Canadian-American composer performer based in Utah, where he's a composer in residence at BYU, uh, and he has degrees from the University of Washington, Mills College, and, and Brigham Young University, where his teachers have included Stuart Dem uh, Dempster, John Rong, uh, Joel Francois uh, Duran, uh, Alvin uh, Curran, among others. Uh, he co-founded the Seattle Experimental Opera, which has produced seven of his operas, and has performed with such musicians as Christian Wolf, uh, Ervind uh, Kong, and Kong, if I can get that, uh, Lara Polanski, Daniel Good, Francois Poul, uh, Michael uh, Vissio, etc. Uh, so all sorts of great things happening. I can't wait to hear what these guys do tonight. So, so please uh, bring up Laura Panlin and Mrs. Is anyone doing um, some reading after open mic reading? A couple people. Here's your, here's some gum. It's pre-chewed. I'm leaving it right here. Um, I'm going to do some selections from. I'm going to do some selections from my new book that came out in May. And then when you start hearing some kind of gross imagery about surgery, that is from this manuscript that I just finished called um, A Physic at the Table. And um, Christian will tell you more in depth about what he's doing afterwards if you're interested. But basically, he's all the sounds that he's making are coming from my voice, and he's manipulating them through various electronic things. So.
into my palm. Our bed is only Pati Ashu. It's a really beautiful thing. She stopped thinning the sugar beets, riding the horses, and taking the train to Ogden to powder her cheeks, wave her hair, to wear a fur coat. This is not Idaho. At the Hardy Fern Society, large structural fronds, yards of fabric, women feel sexy in flannel. She gets a manicure before she dies. Two yards of tatted lace, the Highland fling. These are some of the facts. Also, a sack of fudge and apples for the movies. This is one of God's cities.
to Luna. The candle on the tub dimmed. The midwife cried. I said an oath to God and to my mother, then moved into the darker room where time unscrolled and surrounded me. Arjuna saw all the universe in its many ways and parts, and standing as one in the God of Gods. The moment in which time surrounded me on the bare floor of the dark room was all time. And I was dead and I was not afraid. And then, arise and win glory. I was alive Fulfill your kinship. They are already killed by me. Be my just instrument, the archer at my side through the river. So I stood up, went back to a lighter room, pulled the string on my bow, and Lula was born red. Know that nature and man's spirit have no beginning, that qualities and changes have their origin in bread.
the species of tree, smooth like an aspen or dogwood, but one shade darker. Here, a streak of silver. There, the gray of an elephant's knee. The leaf, a darker gray, interspiced with a guardian in its stem, and a skeleton of a medium delicacy. And a broad tint with points at each end. Smaller than a woman's hand. species of tree. I'm no arborist, but I'm both cool and snug beneath it. And yes, Voltaire, she is indeed well ordered. The irregularities all mine. Red, 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 red
become a financier when the spider crawled from my marrow. Thou art a retrieveless larceneur. I awoke to the adder's firmest bliss. <coughs> then his crumpled mien when I hastened to wash, repent, Turn myself into a butterfly, Ananias. The surgeon dipped a tincture from his earth. I licked it off his finger. Just fix me, please. Turn myself into a butterfly. Paper plane across the room. Staple this claim to your chest. Flowers, planets, faces, all fickle. Flowers, planets, but Ananias hovers around his cenotaph. The adder slinks into the earth. The surgeon's thread, a pungent soak of iodine. Closes your chest up tight. Turn us to wash. Repent. 
turn myself into a butterfly. Must turn myself into a butterfly. Her plane across the lagoon to the adder's firmest bliss. <coughs> then his crumples the open lung. Sibilant's a bad sign, and the dock looks very tired. Repent. My daughter. Turn myself into a wretched and patient. Having no other choice. To the adder. Only.
Thank you.